Rafi Seferetto. He got word to me. So what does he want? He wants a bump up to captain. The kid's been a top fucking earner ever since that rat bastard went in the program. You can't deny it. Rafi's whipped Richie's crew into shape over there. And three months ago, by you, the rat bastard was the second fucking coming. Why do you do this to me? Because I'm the boss of this family. You forget. I forget nothing. Don't make me say things to you we'll both regret. Go ahead. I'm fucking fed up. Hey. I'm on the street. That's the arrangement. Stay home, clip your coupons, be a happy man. Things are good, I grant you that. Yeah. But this economy is so robust, you get credit for shit you had nothing to do with. Fucking chinks and housewives have been in football. You better be finished. So what's this I hear? You got old man Bacala making a comeback? He didn't hear it from me, Tom. Hey, I'm not trying to butt in. Junior reached out and asked me to talk to you. Old man worked for him for a lot of years. He's just looking out for him. It does seem a little extreme. But hey, my man Jagutz, he knows what he's doing, huh? Glad I have your fucking approval. Whatever you say, Cappy. All right, here it is, okay? For you, Junior, and anybody the fuck else. Gigi's captain of that crew. He gave the order. I okayed it. And the fucking story. Tony, please, no offense. <laughs> obviously, it's your call. Yeah, obviously. Jesus Christ, I'm gone for one hour. All of a sudden, it turns into a fucking slumber party. <laughs> Somebody woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Can I talk to you a minute? None of your fucking business which side of the bed I wake up on. Jesus, it's just an expression. Bullshit. And don't tell me you don't know what I'm talking about. All that Reggie Van Gleeson, mm, boy, you fat. Things have changed around here. I'm the boss of this fucking family. You're crowding me. You don't make fun of me. Got it? Got it. Knock off the massage shit. It's a place of business, not a Jack LaLanne. Anyway, one thought I had in the interest of harmony, maybe there could be a power sharing situation. Well, sopranos have two bosses. That's not all it's cracked up to be, believe you me. Let's not get into that right now. Speech was here. Well, yeah, he came to pay his respects. Hey, what's this I hear? You ruled against Feech? He's an important man. Why's he bitching at you about shit? I'm still the boss of this family, despite any arrangements. Johnny Sack told me about this guy in Newburgh. Johnny Sack? Yeah, Johnny Sack. Anyway, he gave me a better deal for shipping him home. Are you fucking serious? I don't like the way I'm being talked to you. What did I tell you when you came to me? Said you wanted back in. I said, as long as you don't step on anybody's toes. In my day. And that's another thing. I don't want to hear no more about how it was in your day. You just keep your antidotes to local color, like Dynaflows or McGuire Sisters or shit like that. Otherwise, shut the fuck up! Jesus Christ, Feech, I'm trying to ease your transition here. And this is the thanks I get? Sorry if I offended you. you. Gotta remember, Tony, I still think he is a kid. I'll learn. Yeah.
Come here. We all right? Just get yourself 55 back, okay? You know, maybe I was too hard on that guy. Did I learn nothing from Mitchie April? Huh? Nip it in the bud. Feach. He's well liked, T. That's another thing. Well, don't be so hard on yourself, though. You got some balls, kid. I'll give you that much. You'll give me what I tell you to give All me. All the time. Right, take fuck. it easy. Take it easy. Fuck that. This ain't the 70s. And I'm not a kid. Relax. It's an expression. Well, here's another expression. You got five days to give me my money. Come on. <laughs> That was out of line. Billy, he's a boss. Jersey? Come on, huh?